Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jing Lee Vlogs. And today I am going to do a special vlog for you guys. It is called What's in My Bag. Um, I'm excited to share with you some things that I have in there. I know when you look at someone's bag and it looks beautiful and you're just wondering what's inside the bag. You know, how does it look like inside? Does it have a lot of storage room? And looking at somebody, you just want to know what's in their bag. So I hope that this video will stir some curiosity for you and that you continue on watching to see what's in my bag. I don't know if these videos are still popular, but I'm just doing it. Uh, I scrolled through one of my subscription and one of my subscribers, Yulu, she is doing the same similar content, but with a YSL bag. So I thought it's pretty cool to give her a shout out and do the same similar video, but sharing some personal items in my bag. Before going into the bag, if you are new to my channel, and um, you want to know what I post about. I post about makeup tutorials, product reviews, and I do occasional vlogs like this. I post every Friday and I try to do it consistently. Um, so make sure you check out this video and my other videos as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel below. So, okay, let's keep the ball rolling and get into the bag. All right, um, I have here my bag that I um, wear occasionally. I mean, if it's, a, you know, going out to dinner, going out on a date, going to the movies, I carry this bag around a lot. Um, the only place I don't carry this bag is to work. It has a double strap and there's a double C logo there, okay? And in the back, it looks like this. When I open up the bag, I'm just going to carefully turn the knob and then open it. And inside, there's another part where I have to open. Now, this bag is very sturdy. It's very sturdy and um, it's, it feels very like leather-like. And when I open the bag, there's another compartment where I have to open. And of course, when I snap open, you will see the double C logo again in there. And I just love that this bag is very roomy on the inside. Now that you see how it looks like on the inside, let's go over some things that I have in here and why I have them in my bag. This bag is pretty heavy and sturdy, so I try not to take up all the space and just carry around a lot of things. Now the first item that I will take out from my bag is the Physician Formula Glow Compact and it looks like this. When you open it, it pretty much looks like a rose and it's in rose gold. It's so pretty. I just happened to come across this compact when I was at CVS and it looked so pretty and I felt like I need a new blush, something that's glowy and light pink and something that I could add shimmer to my body. So this serves two purpose. I can actually um, use it as a blush to add a little glow throughout the day and also use it to put on my shoulders or my neck for a little glow over my body. The color is perfect and I love it. Physician Formula always offers a compact that has a little, a little brush on the inside. So it's really good for on the go and you know, when I'm in the restroom, I can just sweep it through my face, add some highlight, add some glow, and I'll just Put it back in and carry on my day. So that's the first product in my bag. 
I think I only have about six or seven things in here that's very light. After purchasing some products from CVS, they gave me a $10 coupon and it goes towards the whole month. So I have a whole month to be able to use this for whatever I want when I come back to CVS. Okay. I do use drugstores product. I'm not going to lie. So this coupon is the best thing right now. <laughs> my next product is my Revlon Supernatural Lip Gloss. And the reason why I bought this shade with me is because it's so natural and any lip color that I have on there, um, it would blend in very well with. So it's my go-to lip gloss on the go. Whenever my lips feel a little dry or anything, I would just add a little gloss and it will help me keep my lips moisturized and looking cute at the same time. And of course, I have to have my ID on hand and my debit cards in my bag. So they're tucked in this compartment in here. Now, why didn't I add a wallet and put all my cards in my wallet? Adding a wallet is pretty heavy and i just want to access my ids or my cards right away without having to go into another bag so i mean having a wallet is great but when i don't carry a bag i will carry a wallet around but since if i'm carrying a bag i'll just have the bag alone that's just my preference and since this is a double c strap bag i don't want to just pair it with any like Burberry wallet or LV wallet, it would just wouldn't look right. So to make things easier for me, um, I'll just keep my cards and my IDs in the bag and pull them out whenever I need it. So it's much more convenient. And I also have my pink gift card in my bag whenever I need it just to go shopping. And yes, this is the bag that I usually go shopping with. Tucked on the other side as you can see of the bag my last thing in this bag it's a sample spray that i have gotten from macy when i went shopping i bought the five ounces paris moonlight ysl perfume and this guy was so kind to give me all kinds of samples and he decided to give me a sample of this little perfume bottle right here so whenever i need it i'll just spray a little bit now i carry this around because let's say if i go to a public restroom and it smells horrible uh, i have something to go to and just take it out and ch -ch 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 clear the air any perfume samplers will come in handy when you need it most and let's say you forgot your perfume bottle at home you can just take it out and spray it you know i usually just use up all my samples and that wraps up what's in my bag here. You know, I don't carry a lot of things. I don't even carry a bag hook because, you know, if I you own a Chanel, of course you will own a bag hook. This uh, purse can cost up to $5,000 to $6,000, even $7,000. So, you know, having a bag hook will help when it comes to a luxurious item. Anyway, I will stand up and show you how this bag looks on me. It is gorgeous with any outfit and it feels so sturdy. <laughs> So guys, I know when you saw me holding up this bag and you're thinking, wow, that is a Chanel bag. Why didn't she call it a Chanel bag? Well, this is a dupe actually that I found on Amazon. And as you can see, when I walk around with it, people hardly know that it's a dupe. 
I mean, seriously, guys, it is a dupe. And I bought it on Amazon for a very good price. When people say they like my bag, I just say thank you. You know, they're not going into the question, is it real or not? You know, it's just, I don't think it's very polite. Um, they'll just touch the bag. And if you are a Chanel expert, you already know that this bag <laughs> is a dupe. But look, look at it. I love this bag because it has so much room and it just has a lot to offer even though it's not the real deal. Um, so, I mean, I love it. And it doesn't matter because you know what? I I feel like I'm pretty smart for not spending five to $7,000 on a handbag, but I can still rock the same look. So if you're interested in knowing where I got this bag and how I purchased it, I will link everything in the description below and you can rock the same look for less. So let's keep that a secret between us. Shh. Also, if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe below because I will have a lot of other great videos coming and interesting content for you to check out. All right, guys, my bag and I will say bye to you for now until the next video. Mwah.